Hi everyone, my name is Peter Ashworth. I am new to the world of YouTubing for disc golf, uh, but I wanted to give you my perspective on a couple of things that I think may be helpful. I'm hoping to do a series of videos on some topics that I feel like maybe have been missed by a lot of the beginner content out there. Uh, so I'm putting together this video, I guess, uh, to give you a little background into who I am, where I'm coming from. I'm about an advanced level amateur player. I do not have a PDGA number. Uh, but I can throw pretty far and feel like maybe I can give you a, a couple helpful pieces of information on how to do that, how to do it well. Uh, so that's what I'm going to focus on in this video. A little bit of background about me. I am a mechanical slash electrical engineer. I have spent the last probably six years in industrial automation, including robotics. Some really cool stuff. Uh, disc golf is a side hobby. But coming at it from an engineer's perspective, I feel like I have something to offer that maybe isn't currently in the market. So here goes nothing. For this first video, I wanted to cover the grip. So I noticed that there's a lot of information out there about how to grip, how to do a backhand throw, for example. Um, mostly what I found was that people are recommending to use a four finger power grip. Uh, I have rather large hands, so you will see that on my intro photo, but I, uh, find that holding the, the disc is a little different for me. Um, I use a three finger power grip, but mostly when I'm throwing, I'm throwing a fan grip. So I wanted to, I went out into the field and I did some throws and I found that I was able to get quite a bit of distance out of my backhand fan grip throws as well as my power grip throws. And I wanted to compare the two. So let's take a look at some clips.
So just so you can understand what my two different grips are, my fan grip is going to look a lot like this. Where I've got my fingers flared out. You'll notice that my pinky is still tucked into the inside of the rim. And then I've got my thumb coming down a lot further into the flight plate than maybe I would with a power grip. Switch that up to a power grip. You'll see that my thumb is right on this line where I've got the, the meaty section of the rim and the flight plate. And then I'm using a three finger power grip. So I can rip it pretty hard, but I find that if I have this pinky down here, it likes to catch on the back end as it's tearing away from my hand, makes it less, less smooth of a release. So when I hold a power grip, it's holding on like this with three fingers. The thumb is a little closer to the edge than with my fan grip. You can see fan grip, uh, that position is awkward versus power grip. Um, but yeah, that just gives me a nice clean release, gives me a lot of power, allows it to pull out in a very clean way. So I find that with the fan grip, for example, with this uh, fairway driver, this is actually a Leopard 3, that may be a fairway. But the problem is that the rim is a lot shorter. So doing a power grip makes my fingers feel really small. I find that to be a very awkward position. I usually will fan grip all my fairway drivers and everything down, uh, down into the putters, right, when I'm throwing. On the other hand, with my distance drivers, I can fan grip them just fine because my fingers are big enough, but most of the time, if I'm reaching for a distance driver, I'm throwing as hard as I can, I'm using a power grip. So just a different use case, okay? So I listed all of my throws into a spreadsheet that I recorded for both the fan grip and the power grip. So first thing to notice, I throw a bunch of different kinds of discs. So you can see some Innova, some MVP, some Latitude 64, some Discmania. This has just been kind of me looking over the reviews of people saying, hey, what are the best discs that they're throwing? And kind of picking the cream of the crop from those. So I throw some PD2s, I throw some MVP Octanes, I throw some Star Destroyers, uh, lots of different things in there. And so uh, if you look beyond that into the actual data, so lots of different throws, you can see quite a bit of variation. From the fan gripped ones, you can see there is a standard deviation of about 28 feet. Average distance is 443 feet, and the max throw was a 490 foot with a ballista. Now, one thing to note about this is that this was pretty far off to the left of where I was aiming, so take that with a grain of salt. Secondly, if you look over on the power grip side, you can see that my average is 471, which is pretty substantially further than the fan grips. Uh, however, what I would also like to point out is how far the fan grips went. So a 443 foot average distance on a fan grip seems a lot further than maybe some, uh, maybe you would be led to believe. What you can also see is that there's a standard deviation on the power grips of 46 feet. What I take this to mean is that there was a lot more variation in the data. So um, again, take that with a grain of salt. That's partly because I am not a professional. My throws will sometimes be short and sometimes be very far. But the other thing you can see is that I had a bomb on my metal flake katana that went out to 563 feet. Now, part of that was with a skip because I'd basically gone beyond my target area of the post and skipped off the back. But in any case, that throw I would put at maybe the 530 to 540 range uh, prior to the skip. So what's my point with all this? My point is, is that the fan grip is designed for control. It really helps you get a smooth release, gets, helps you hit the line you want to hit, doesn't have quite so much variation as you might have with a power grip. However, you will lose just a little bit of different distance. But that being said, it's not like you're losing hundreds of feet. You're losing 50 feet on average, okay? I find that to be a useful piece of information for my own game. I hope that you find the same. I hope that you're able to find something in this that, that helps you out. Uh, it was just something I noticed that I thought maybe other people could benefit from.